Is this a vape? <laughs> yeah. Is this a vape? Yeah. Oh. Show, show them the crab. Show them the new crab. It's actually oh. so cute. It's so cute. It goes all the way around my arm. Sir Allium, you're kind of jack, Sir Allium. Did somebody commented on my Instagram and said I'm bigger than you? Get oh. the fuck out of here, bitch! <laughs> somebody said what? They said I'm bigger than you. Who said that? Someone on my Instagram. Did you kill them for me? <laughs> no. 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 Who's bigger? Who's bigger? <laughs> me. Who's bigger? Me. Who's bigger? Matt? You're scared. I am scared. You got free reign on my cajones. Show your fucking legs. No, you show your legs, bro. You're scared. <laughs> You're so scared. Shut up. No. Show your mouth. What are you doing? Sit on your face. No. Don't do that. Well, you don't Allium's, do that. Sir Alliums, don't do that. You don't do that. You're scared. You're scared. I have you wrapped around my finger right now. It's the Wheel of my NFC Championship. Give me a give me words of wisdom. My words. It's Women's History Month, L. Okay, my words of wisdom. Nigga. Dude, are you serious? Words of wisdom, just do good. Don't get too cocky though, you tend to do that. Dude, I've been taking so many dubs this year. Okay then, keep it going. Why do you need my advice then if you're gonna take another dub? I'm so sick of Women's History Month. This should be over. Can it be, can it be White Male History Month already? Am I right, you guys? Oh wait, that's literally every month. Guess Sir Elliam's ethnicity. Try to guess Sir Elliam's ethnicity. You try and guess it. She's gonna be half Irish pretty soon here, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. What are you doing? Why'd you do that? What's so funny, fraud ass? Stand back up. No. Okay, give me the camera. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's the NFC Championship. Just give me a words of advice. Ask him. You're actually useless. Wait, wait. No, you're utterly useless. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> get away from me. That's arson, bro. <laughs> what do you want it for? This is all you're gonna do. <laughs> turn around. No, no, I'm not <laughs> turning around. Last time you told me to turn around, you had me bend over, and I did not like that. Turn, okay, walk. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of Mutton. Three, two, one. Wheel of Mutton! Hey, what's up, you guys? The NFC Championship. Let me get something off my chest first, though. So last episode, like three of the top comments were all about how I didn't get Josh Allen with my first wheel spin. Now, my first wheel spin was Sets Jackpot, so any player from Sets. And if you frauds would open up the game before you start typing, you would understand that Josh Allen does not have a set. The only Bills player who has a Team of the Year set is Naheem Hines. And just so you're crystal clear on this, here's every single Team of the Year set. So only the team of the year champion, the player with the most votes, gets a team of the year card. So at center, Jason Kelsey gets a set. At halfback, Christian McCaffrey gets a set. At left guard, it's Quentin Nelson. And the only quarterback who has a set is Jalen Hurts. Okay? He just doesn't exist. I get cooked a lot, and usually for good reason. But this time, and this time only, I expect an apology. And I expect you to rate my cock on a scale of 1 to 10. All right? That's it. That's all I ask for. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to Instagram. MaddenCoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. And honestly, I think you guys make a good point. Like, why doesn't Josh Allen have a set? He probably should, but he doesn't. So there's nothing I can do about it. All right, now that I got that off my chest, let's move into today's episode. So we're at 94 overall. My offensive line is absolutely spectacular. My tight end duo is ridiculous too with Hawkinson and Pete Metzelars. We even have a third string 95 overall Logan Thomas. My wide receivers are nuts. My backfield minus Malik Willis is amazing, but Malik Willis got us here. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't mess with it. I don't know, man. Even if I got like a quarterback jackpot on today's episode, I just don't know what I would do. Defensively, we're incredible as well. Isaiah Simmons had a massive, massive play last game. Mike is awesome. Sauce Gardner is the best corner in the game. Honestly, everything looks amazing. I think a really good thing we could add to this team though, is a true D tackle. For example, Javon Curse right now is eating up three AP. Whereas if I got a D tackle, a lot of them get one AP inside stuff or even sometimes zero AP inside stuff. So a really good D tackle would also free up some AP. Just gonna make everyone else better. Also, my buddy is still helping me grind on that Calvin Johnson prestige. So hopefully at the start of next Wheel of Mutt season, I'll have gold 99 Calvin Johnson wide receiver. But honestly, I don't even feel like messing with it this season since I'm in the NFC Championship with Megatron Corner. I really don't feel like messing with that right now. All right, gentlemen, let's look for a true D-tackle one. I think that's probably the best case scenario for us. We almost 
Chris just got the true jackpot, but we get five separate packs with coins only, so I can't get any training store packs. There's a limited Akib Talib in the store. That's basically the best thing I could pull. All right, we'll start with an Ultimate Legends pack. So I had to get five different packs, but each of those packs has to cost coins. It'd be really tough to get an upgrade here, Loki. Cody Whitehair, we of course get an Ultimate Legends player. It's free safety 88 Eric Berry. You know what's pretty awesome about that, though? Is I could prestige that. Like, I could prestige Eric Berry into 98 Eric Berry. 87 Cromwell, the loyalty token, and we get an AKA player. And it's sweetness. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. An Eric Berry prestige would be incredible. I don't know if you guys know Eric Berry's story, but this dude was a safety in the league. Got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is cancer. Beat the cancer and came back to the league. It was so, so insane. That was probably when I first started watching NFL football. It's just such an incredible story. So, hey, to have 98 overall Eric Berry on the squad would be pretty sick. We got to make it to the Super Bowl to get a prestige anyway, so I'm not going to get ahead of myself. This second pack right here has a Michael Thomas, Artie Burns, Austin Pro. That was the weekly wild cards. Nothing I'd go crazy for, aka new class. This also will likely contain a really good potential prestige player. Yeah, when I, when I look at these packs, actually, this is just prestige. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, no shot, no shot. That's my prestige. I figured out my prestige. Dude, there is no way. Is a punter worth it more than a free safety? Probably not. But for those who are wondering why I'm freaking out so much, yes, this is a 96 overall punter, the Scottish Hammer. But if you haven't seen, he has his own ability. It activates simply by him being on your lineup. And his plus one agility, kick power, impact blocking, and hit power for kickers, punters, your entire D-line, and all your linebackers, which is just hilarious. Number one. Number two, he's the best punter in the game. <laughs> he also has 90 speed. He's also a pretty good interim quarterback quarterback. Like, technically, at the start of next season, if I don't have a quarterback and this was my prestige, I could put him in as my quarterback, and he'd be better than Bailey Zappi. He's got decent accuracies. He's fast. He's got 95 carrying, 94 trucking. You can put the ability crusher on him. I really just opened an AKA new glass pack to get that. No way. But hey, I still have two packs left. So I can, pu I can pull an insane combine player right here. Darnell Savage, that's probably a no. Justin Houston is definitely a no. And our last combine player, this dude was a really Really good return specialist, I believe, this year, right? It's a nice player, but he, he wouldn't be a prestige. I got a surprising amount of good stuff. Very surprising amount of good stuff. The final pack we'll open is a Pro Star Fantasy Pack, since it's five separate packs that we open. Jonathan Allen, John Kaminsky, Xander Horvath. Nothing in this one. Oh, wait a second. There's two rounds to this. Wait a minute. We're not out the woods yet. An AKA player once again? Those have showed me a lot of love. We get 88 Lamar, 88 Darren Woodson. Doesn't matter since I won't use either of them. Hey, solid packs, man. I'm not gonna complain about about that at all. All right, let's start with our punter who is now Jamie Gillen. Is that how you say his name? How you say his name is the Scottish Hammer. A 90 speed punter boosted to a 97 and also boosting every player on my defense. He took Isaiah Simmons to a 94 and Demario Davis to a 94. And rather than have CD Lamb being kick returner, I'm going to put in Wong New in here. I'm going to I'm going to mess up that name about a billion times, but you know what? He's 95 speed, 94 acceleration. Definitely could be my kick returner, no issues. And then of course, we do have Eric Berry as a prestige option, but I do also have a lot of other good prestige options as well. Isaiah Simmons has a 98 overall corner. JJ Watt, I could prestige JJ Watt, and then I get the 98 or whatever, 97 overall career tribute JJ Watt. But I need to stop thinking about prestiging players until I make the Super Bowl. All right, moving on to the second wheel spin. Those five separate packs were a lot better than I expected. So that's a great start. Our second wheel spin is going to give us. Ooh. Two spins on the wheel of coins. All right, if we get lucky here, we can definitely pick up a D tackle. I'm gonna add the coin value of these two wheel spins and I can spend that on one player. So our first wheel spin. Now, if it's a jackpot, I don't need the second spin. It was actually almost a jackpot. Our first wheel spin is 50K. So the first wheel spin is 50,000 and we're gonna add to that whatever we get here, which might be another 50 or another 100. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you fraud ass. That's off by a millimeter. 100,000 coins to spend on one D tackle. I think that's going to get me exactly what I was looking for. So 100K to spend on one play. And there's honestly an excellent option here in Deron Payne, who's 6'3", 319, with 91 block shed, 96 strength, 90 tackle, 81 speed. So I'm going to go Deron Payne. He gets one AP inside stuff. And he's got solid stats. Oh, my bad. I tried to buy a player on the auction house, so the game crashed. That's very reasonable. I can understand why your monkey ass 
ass Tiki Hut Amazon Jungle servers couldn't handle me buying a fucking player at the auction house. All right, Gerard Payne discounted inside stuff, promote him to starter, and we'll move Javon Curse to D tackle too. The absolute best case scenario here is a God Squad quarterback, but once again, I just don't know if I want to replace Malik Willis. <laughs> It's the comp. Okay. It's very unlikely that we would replace Malik Willis right now. This is the combine team wheel. So I can take any single combine player in the game, except they must come from the Dallas Cowboys or Miami Dolphins. Dallas Cowboys. Dude, the NFL combine promo came out and then team of the year dropped. So I low key just forgot about all the combine players. I was so excited about team of the year. So I don't know off the top of my head who they have. Cowboys. Let's see what players are available. <laughs> not a single one. All right, we get to spin again. We're not getting a Dallas Cowboy. Oh my God, I spun the shit out of that wheel. That thing is flying. Okay, we're not getting a Dallas Cowboy, but we are going to get what looks like a Washington Redskin, potentially a Saint. You don't have a single combine player either? The Saints nor the Cowboys have an NFL combine player, so it looks like we're moving on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who presumably have a Bud Dupree card, right? Steelers have Derek fucking Watt. Are you kidding me? At, at this point, you should have just not had a card. It would have helped me if you didn't have a card. I can't. What am I supposed to do with 93 Derek Watt? Hey, he'll be with his brother because we got JJ Watt on defense. Take a look at this though. Inside stuff on Javon Curse was three AP, so we refund all of that. We keep Speedster on him since it's literally free, and we wouldn't run Edge Threat. But wow, that is a significant clear up there. So three AP back from Javon Curse, but we go down one by adding inside stuff and we have two more to distribute throughout my defense well i can put one ap lurker on demario davis because it will give him better animations even if i'm not usering him let's throw tip drill on marcus williams one ap perfect tip drill is exactly what i needed i don't know why i didn't think of that sooner so we add lurker on demario davis and tip drill on marcus williams one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen players on defense with abilities that's more than I could ever imagine to have on the field. So yeah, Malik Willis is still in, but it, won't it be so much cooler for Malik Willis to get the ring? It'll be so much cooler. I don't need a God Squad Josh Allen. I don't need Patrick Mahomes. I just need God Squad everything else, apparently. We got a challenge wheel and an NFC championship to win. Let's get after it. Honestly, I'm a little too nervous for this game right now. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna come back. And when I get back, I'll be ready to ball out. You actually won't notice because it's a YouTube video. Whatever, dude. Why don't you just give me an OTPHJ? That's an over the pants hand job. All right, boys, we got a challenge wheel. Then we're ready to hop in. 95 overall squad. I got no excuses today. Let's have a beautiful game. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I don't know if I've ever gotten this either. 85 fantasy points for the team. At the end of the game, I will add up every single player who achieved at least a single fantasy point. So at the end of the game, I'm going to add up the fantasy totals for all my players. It's got to be over 85. Overall, I just need a really hot offense. And Justin Jefferson, Pete Metzlars can definitely help with that. His top three has got 99 Mike Vick, Keenan Allen, and MVS. I need to lock in and lock in tight. Let's go. All right, Isaiah Simmons over the middle. Mike Vick, who's that halfback? Is that Saquads? Ooh, that Saquon just came out. It's the Saquon Barkley, a.k.a. He's a 98 overall. I don't know what X-Factor he's got on, though. Mike Vick has Truz. He starts the game with Truz? Ugh. Dude, he's got too many fucking abilities. I can't even see. He has first one free for five plays. Ooh, it throws over the middle. Really nice throw. I committed to Saquon. I thought he was going to go to him again. Damn, I didn't realize that the Ultimate Legends got starting with abilities. Because that Michael Vick's got Truz on already. I got to be worried about that come on do something stupid that's something stupid no way i didn't get to that i'm gonna pick him off that was such a dumb pass oh wow and since we're on this stupid campbell's chunky stadium there's no playoff logos on the field i know it doesn't change anything but i love i love the immersion man i worked to get to this nfc championship and since we're in the sponsored field we don't get any of the logo Ooh, huge no. tackle from well he, he basically did lock in right now we're turning him over Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do that shit again. Oh, here we go. We got a run play. He's too scared to do it again. I'm going to go on Palomalu for this run. Left. Oh, play action. I'm there. Oh, I'm run committing. Yes. Huge. Maybe up the middle this time. Play action. Oh, no. He did hand it off. But he 
even was that animation? Honestly, I'm a little tilted with that drive because I almost picked him off like twice, but that's also a good thing. If you're going to throw balls that can almost be picked off that many times, I'm bound to get a turnover in this game. Interesting user here. <sighs> See what he's got here. I'm going to go check down to Bo. There might have been something deep open, but I was just too scared. Yeah, so it says NFL Divisional there. It's just nowhere on the field. That's so lame. Keep in mind, this is not the Divisional. This is the NFC Championship, technically. This is the game before the Super Bowl. I'm going up top. Yup! I really thought he had that. That came out late. Jefferson. Oh, Justin Jefferson, save me. Looking for Mike Irvin here. Nice blocking. Ooh, I'll take this. It's a little sketchy, but CeeDee Lamb comes down with this. Guy uses the entire clock to choose a defense every single time. Why? I don't know. I'm gonna go hat back quick base. I'm gonna cut it back across to where the user was, and we'll take a solid three yards. I'm gonna go Hawkinson on a corner route. Ooh. Metzelars, the big boy! <laughs> what a throw for Malik! He's on the maniac. I'm gonna go to his side. I'm going to cut this up the middle. I was going to get a really nice hit stick to take it to the two, but we're not quite in. He's not in a goal line set. Who's he on? Stepping up with Malik Willis. And we're in. As a little scared, man. His user was close to me. But we were able to punch it in, make it 7-7. Seven to seven. Here's the issue. There's a minute 37, and I get the ball at half. So if he scores here with no time left, and then I get the ball at half, the best I can do is tie the game up. I really don't like that. I, I like to be leading and get the ball at half. And he just got a roughing the kicker. Read option, maybe? I got to go cover Saquon and my user, though. Hey! Hey! Yes, sir! I was manned up on Saquon. He in his face. He panics and throws a pick six to Isaiah Simmons. That first drive, there were so many of those almost. But we actually clutched it up right there. That was massive. Justin Jefferson, single coverage. I don't trust anybody more than him. I'm going for the two. There he is. Jay Jettis! <laughs> He's so open. I should have kneeled that pick six. That was not smart. I should have put it down, chewed the clock, and then scored, and then get the ball at half. Right now, he has an opportunity to score. Nice ball. Makes a really nice find. He gets, yeah, this is this was stupid. That was not good clock. Man, I was too excited about the interception. I wasn't thinking about football. All right, I'm doing the man blitz again. Absolutely torched him last time. He got so nervous. How I did not intercept that ball is absolute insanity. Okay, I'm putting everybody in coverage. If he runs the football, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Goes across the middle with his hat back. I'm there. Oh, I can't get to that. Nice play. I almost wanted to let him in the end zone there. I need to score quick. If this is a run, he got me. Ooh, it is, but he got fucking lit up. Hell of a stop. Oh, no! No way! How is this happening? Oh, my God, I'm there. Oh, I have the one pick six, but these other drives, I'm just like, Ugh. that ball's usually in my hands. I don't know what happened right there. Well, this is why I use my timeouts. 34 seconds to score. No timeouts, though. Tell you what, though, I'm not worried about his user. Fucking heave. Oh, my God. Damn, it was there. Hawk. Hawk. Beautiful window. I got to go up there and spike it. See how long this takes. Nine second runoff. We're on the eight. To get a field goal, I would have to get out of bounds. Oh my God. I think I just did it. Ah, let's go. What a fuck. Oh, beauty, Malik. Malik taketh away, but he giveth right there. I fucking love you, Malik Willis. Ah, that's how you end a half. Up by two. Ball at half. We score. Get a PAT. It's a two possession ball game. That was a massive field goal. Ah. I'm, I'm actually legitimately slightly rock hard. Um, I am popping at 80% chub right now. Let's go. I'm going to go back to this right side. This looks a lot stronger. Ooh, I kind of got cold feet. I didn't know whether to cut that up or what. Second and eight. I'm going to take the underneath to Bo. There it is. Bo, great catch, Bo. Dude, this guy, I really like this guy's defensive packages. They're not meta blitzes. It's throwing me for a loop. When you play a guy like that, you just can't be mad. You just have to respect that they're, they're running something different that you've never seen before. And you just got to find a way to beat it. And that's what I need to do right now. Okay, I think Justin Jefferson's open. Ooh, he was. No, Matt, no. Yes, Matt. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah, I panicked and I threw something I shouldn't have. I, oh, that switch on saved me. I switched on to Irvin after panicking like a madman. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. This slip screen may actually set up. Oh my God, it did. It did. Wait, somebody block him. Yes. <laughs> nice slip screen. I think I can send this back right side and get it. I'm fucking YOLOing it. Let's go. Cut it up. Yes, sir. Great blocks. Yes, sir. 
Let's go! Hell of a block. Flatten the user. I could have gotten a touchdown out of that, but fumbled the bag a little bit. We got to get in the end zone. I don't like this play. I'm gonna. I don't want the penalty either, though. I'm gonna run it. Wow. I really didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised it did. Pipe layer in the end zone. Okay, we've seen his formation before. He's ran out of it and he's passed out of it. He'll start with a read option. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Need to check the fantasy points at the end. All right, let's go rack up some fantasy points, gentlemen. Let's get this challenge. Isaiah Simmons. A pick six and two interceptions. It very well could be three, even four. I've been struggling. My user's been really struggling today. I'm just kind of ass. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Who? Matt Solaris, wide open. Beauty. Oh, he's huge, dude. That guy's a beast. All right, I'm just going to run this to chew a little clock. I don't want to get in the end zone right now. No, 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 no. Please. It's so annoying that Madden doesn't even have an option to, like, look at your stats. Some guy could quit with one second left of the game, and you can't see a damn thing. Well, that is the second game in a row that I've been robbed of my challenge wheel. Number one, NFC Championship dub. That's massive. I'm so happy. But it is the second game in a row that I've been robbed of the challenge wheel. So the next game, as you can see right there, is the Super Bowl. Bowl, win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion, which is so exciting. I'm going to pretend like I completed the challenge wheel. I was totally going to complete that if I got to play the game. Now, normally with the rage quit, I would get an upgrade for Michael Irvin, but Michael Irvin's also maxed out. I'm just going to pretend like I completed the challenge wheel. That's what I'm going to do and nobody can stop me. I'm going to go 90 plus aka new class player because that's how I pulled the Teron Armstead. So let's see if we can just go nuts right here, pull something insane for our challenge wheel. We're going to get... Ooh, 93, Gilly Lock. On a lot of my teams, I'd be very good, just not on this team. All right, gentlemen, I'd like to personally thank the script writers for having my back this season. Last season, I was so dog shit. And then we started the redemption season, and it's just been in the bag. However, there's one final game. It would all mean nothing if we can't win the Super Bowl. So I love you so much. What another huge dub. That one was scary, bro. 13 to 14 in the first half, but we clutched it up. I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you then. Peace.